Today guys, it's time to do my predictions for the driver lineups in the 2020 Formula 1 season. Where today I'm going to try my best to accurately predict who I think will end up where for 2020. And I'm going to try and do it in the most realistic way possible, not just go for wild choices. So will Valtteri Bottas keep his seat at Mercedes and will Pierre Gasly be dropped from Red Bull for 2020? Well, to find out whether I think that can happen, make sure to check out this video. Now, let's start off with the world champions, Mercedes. Now, Lewis Hamilton, of course, is safe for his seat because he is the best driver on the grid. He's going to win the world championship again and is also, of course, one of the best drivers of all time. But for the second seat, it's really between Valtteri Bottas and Esteban Ocon. Now, for Bottas, if you look at 2019 so far, you'd have to say that Bottas so far has done enough to keep his seat. But we have seen with Bottas that he does tend to really dip off in the final part of a season. And I think that's what the team are waiting for. They're waiting to see whether that will happen again and if it does i think he could really be at risk of losing that seat and of course that seat could go to esteban ocon but as i now make this video and say this again i think bottas based on the season so far has earned another year at the team and i think for ocon in his years in 2017 and 2018, compared to what Bottas is doing right now, I just don't think he has done enough, Ocon, with what he's done in Formula 1 to get into that car. And again, I think Bottas has just about, so far, done enough to get into that seat again for 2020. So for me, at Mercedes, it will be Hamilton and Bottas once again. At the Scuderia for 2020, things are going to remain the same because the team are very happy with both drivers. They've both done, I think, quite well this season. And I don't see why they'd go for anyone else going into 2020. So for me, at Ferrari, once again, it will be Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc. But now we come to Red Bull. Now, Max Verstappen, of course, is going to be in that team. I know people have been saying that maybe he'll go to Ferrari or even Mercedes for 2020, but I just don't see that happening that soon. But for the second seat at Red Bull, because Pierre Gasly, as we know, has been so, so poor, I just don't see how Gasly will be at Red Bull in 2020. And for me, Daniel Kvyat will return to the team in 2020 to partner the man who replaced him when he was at Red Bull, Max Verstappen. Now, I know some people have said that Alexander Albon maybe does deserve a chance, but Albon hasn't done enough, I think, so far for a seat at Red Bull. Kvyat hasn't been, say, amazing this season, but if you look at the two Toro Rosso drivers and the options they have, they really do have to go for Kvyat over Albon, and I think Kvyat would be definitely a better choice for that team, for the Red Bull team, than Pierre Gasly. And I think Kvyat would definitely do a better job. So in 2020, for me at Red Bull, it will be Max Verstappen and Danny Kvyat. Now let's get into those midfield teams. First off, Renault. I think Renault are going to keep the same driver lineup. Daniel Ricciardo, of course, has many years left in his contract. And I don't see him leaving unless a Ferrari seat becomes available very, very soon. And for Nico Hülkenberg, even though his contract is up at the end of this season, I don't think Renault will want to get rid of him because he is still, for them, good and does at times get good results. So for me at Renault, it will be again Daniel Ricciardo and Nico Hülkenberg. And the same really goes for McLaren because both drivers, Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris, have been very good this season and I think that will continue for the rest of 2019 and I think if you hear what McLaren have been saying especially Zach Brown the team do want to build around Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris so I just don't see why McLaren would go for someone different so for me at McLaren in 2020 it will be Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris 
Next up is Alfa Romeo, and I think for Alfa things will remain the same because first off, Kimi Raikkonen has done very well this season, especially considering how the car at times has been. And I don't see why first Kimi Raikkonen would retire, and also why would Alfa get rid of such a good driver? I just don't see why they would do that. Now, when it comes to Antonio Giovinazzi, earlier in the season I was thinking that he was poor and that he was going to get dropped, but based on his last couple performances, if he continues that, which I think he will, because he has definitely improved his pace and consistency, I don't see how he will be dropped from that team, and I think does deserve the 2020 seat based on how he has been for the last three or four races. Now, people say Mick Schumacher should get in that car for 2020, but anyone with two eyes and a working brain can see that Mick Schumacher is not ready for Formula 1, and he will not be in Formula 1 for quite some time. So, for me at Alpha, it will again be Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi. At Haas, I think Kevin Magnussen is definitely going to stay at the team because I think in the last year or so, he really has become their lead driver and their favourite driver because even though on race day he hasn't had too many great performances, mostly because of how bad the car is when it comes to race pace, he has had plenty of great qualifying performances and I think that will definitely keep him at the team for 2020. But for me... Roman Grosjean will be leaving Haas F1 at the end of the season and I don't see Roman staying in Formula 1 past 2019. I think honestly the guy is done in Formula 1. I just don't see how anyone will hire him because he's a liability and he doesn't have the pace anymore like he used to. So I think Roman Grosjean honestly is done in Formula 1. Now, it's pretty hard to think of a replacement, but the only person I can think of, if Valtteri Bottas does indeed, like I think he will, keep his seat at Mercedes for 2020, the only person I can think of is Esteban Ocon. Now, there's two reasons why I think this will happen. One, Mercedes have recently talked about possibly releasing Ocon from their academy and honestly I think that is Ocon's best chance to get back into Formula 1 as soon as possible but also even though Haas do have a partnership with Ferrari they've never picked really drivers for their team based on who Ferrari like or who's a part of the Ferrari driver academy just look at Magnussen for example so I honestly think they can get, and I think they will get, Esteban Ocon in that car. And I think Kevin Magnussen and Esteban Ocon at Haas would be a very good partnership and a good, consistent partnership, more so than Magnussen and Grosjean. So for me, it will be Magnussen and Ocon at Haas, and Grosjean will be fired. When it comes to Toro Rosso, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm going to go for. Gasly, I think, will get dropped back to Toro Rosso. The team, of course, he drove for at the back end of 2017 and for the full part of 2018. And for me, because he isn't quite ready yet, I think Alexander Albon will remain at Toro Rosso in 2020. Now, I know some people will say maybe, you know, Yuri Vips or Patricio O'Ward could get in that car. But I don't think those drivers are quite ready yet. Maybe in a couple of years, but I don't think for 2020. So for Toro Rosso in 2020, I think it will be Gasly and Albon. The last midfield team, of course, is Racing Point, And I don't see any changes to the lineup at this team because Sergio Perez has been one of the best midfield drivers this season. And because his dad owns the team... Lance Stroll is going nowhere. So for me, it will definitely, without a doubt, be Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll at Racing Point. No doubt about that. And the last team, of course, is Williams. Now, George Russell, I think, will stay at the team because where else can he go? And I think if he stays in that car and just hopes that they do improve, and they do improve, then maybe he can have 
a better 2020. But in terms of his Formula 1 career, I don't see how he can really get anywhere else unless something you know really surprising happens. But alongside him, I think Robert Kubica will be dropped because I don't think Kubica has been quite as good as people were hoping. But also, compared to the driver who I think will replace him, he doesn't have quite enough sponsorship money to save the team from dying, which they basically are. And I think reserve driver Nicholas Latifi will replace him because... Latifi has been doing well in F2, and you could argue that Latifi right now is better than Robert Kubica. And Latifi does have uh, quite a lot of money. So I think Williams absolutely, because of that, will take Latifi, and he will partner Russell for 2020. But guys, those are my predictions when it comes to the driver lineups for the 2020 Formula 1 season. And let me know what you think of what I have predicted. Again, I try to go for the most realistic driver lineups that I think will happen. And I think, honestly, this is the most realistic I could go for. And I think, honestly, the chances of these lineups happening are very, very good. But if you do disagree, then make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. But also, let me know in the comments your driver lineups for 2020 for every single team and i'll make sure to reply to them and give my thoughts as to whether it will happen or not but yeah guys that is it for this video but also don't forget if you are new to subscribe to this channel for more content like this and also smash the like button as well but until my next video on thursday at 12 p.m uk time a video about charles leclerc's 2019 so far it has been me Chazer HD. Goodbye.